EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports! EA Sports! It's in the game! It's in the game! NCAA Football 2005. Vanderbilt Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee, the site for this football clash. And there's a little chill in the air for today's game between the South Florida Bulls and the Vanderbilt Commodores. And here come the Commodores. Welcome everybody, Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. The Commodores seem to have the better team. They should win this game. What do you think, Kirk? Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you on this one, Brad. Vanderbilt has a game-breaking player on defense, and he only gets better with every game. Tackles can't lock, and the quarterback's fearing. That alone will be a big factor in why I think they will win this game today, Coach. Let me tell you why I agree with you. USF does not have a pass rush or the secondary to keep up with this offense. Kirk, they're going to get picked apart like a turkey on Thanksgiving. We're hoping for a great game. Guys, let's get down on the field. The team captains are ready for the coin toss.
South Florida lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. And they'll be returning this one. Number two takes from the 10. The key here is making sure the offensive line gives the quarterback plenty of time to find the open receiver. Number nine lines up in a deep back, eye formation. Back to pass. Looking. Across the middle. Got it. And he's brought down. How about your assessment of that long play, Kirk? Well, Brad, not only a big pass play, but anytime you can stretch a defense on first or second down like this, you're going to open up your running game. to be aware of what the defense is throwing at you. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. Drops back to pass. He's looking. He's rolling left. Throws it out there. Got it. And he's tackled. What an outstanding play that was. Yo, that was a perfectly designed pass play. And he ran it to perfection. What's interesting is that you think it's easier when you get close to your opponent's end zone. Not so fast, my friend. It is actually harder to move the ball because the defense has the same number of guys in a smaller field to play with. He drops back. Looks. He's going left. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Yeah, but that defender had a perfect shot at him. He just didn't catch it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 15. Back to pass. He's in trouble. Wants to throw outside. What a pick. And this could be a big return. Makes a move. Tackle. Boy, the defense put the pressure on and forced the bad throw. And you got that one right. Anytime a young kid sees one of those big guys looking to knock his head off, his brain is telling him one thing. Just throw it. Well, he did, Lee. He did throw it, but he's got to throw it away, not to the other team. They'll get the ball here at the 34. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. And he's taken down. A two-yard run by the halfback. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 36. 291. They'll bring him down. Two-yard pickup. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 38. Number 17 is back in the gun. He gets the pass away. Batted ball. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. He punts it. Number one fields it at the 22. All that work and nothing to show for their last drive. Yeah, but these are tough kids physically and mentally. I wouldn't be surprised to see them put together another long drive and get some points this time. They'll set up shot at the 25. Single set backfield. Spins up field, and they hit him in the backfield. Well, these guys fast or what? Good no job of penetrating and getting to the ball carrier here. As a quarterback, you got to be aware of what the defense is throwing at you. Second and 10, ball on the 25-yard line. The Commodores set up in the gun, drops back to pass. 
He's going right. And down he goes. First down. What a pass. Boy, that was a big time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. As a coach, you got to be concerned with what the defense is throwing at you. I tell my quarterback to take what the defense is giving you. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 37. South Florida with six DBs on the field to counter this five receiver look. And they make the stop. A nice completion that time. Good completion. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but that was exactly the same play they just ran. They're not very creative in their play calling. Creative? You don't need to be creative with these kind of results. As a coach, you love mismatches. In this case, if the slot guy's covered by the linebacker, you may have a nice play. The Bulls bring in their dime package. He drops back. Looking, throws this one out to the right. And he's tackled. Good yardage there, and that'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking run. I'd run the counter and play with the defense a little bit. First and ten, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. They run a counter. He spins. He has some room. Brought down about eight yards there. The key here is making sure the offensive line gives the quarterback plenty of time to find the open receiver. Vanderbilt comes to the line with three wide. Defense looking for his first incompletion this drive. Throws it to the outside. The wide receiver couldn't quite hang on to that. The intended receiver on the play. Nothing fancy here. Just convert to first down and keep the drive going. It's third down and two to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Vanderbilt lines up in a goal line set. They'll bring him down. And that's a pretty nice run there. Yeah, for a first down, too. Yeah, anytime you can get production like this from the fullback, you give the defense something else to worry about. Everyone should know this one. Now go make it happen. First and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. Back to pass. He's looking. He's going right. And this one's going to get intercepted. And the defense comes up with another one. Hey, good job by that defense to get the ball back. They'll start this drive at the 19. The Bulls line up with three wide. They are going to pitch it. And he's going to throw. Someone got a hand on it. And the quarterback got hit, but was it late? Personal foul. Roughing the pass. That's roughing the passer. Some guys get so anxious about getting a sack that they just can't stop themselves from taking the quarterback down after he's throwing the football. It's first and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Number 17 lines up in the shotgun. Across the middle. Got it. And they make the stop. What a catch, and that's going to give him a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense, but I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. High snap. Throws this one out to the left. And he brings it down. 
Number 12 recovers a loose ball. And it looks like the safety got on that one. The offense has to hang on to that ball better. I agree, but you have to give some credit here to the safety. He made a nice play falling on the fumble. At the 35-yard line. Vanderbilt lines up with three receivers. They'll run the option. I'd come out throwing here. You know you got a ways to go for the first, so I just approach it like any other play. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 28. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Still no score. That's a bunch of yards to go for a first down there. I just throw the ball down the field. Eh, maybe you'll get lucky. Second and long. Ball on their own 28. The Commodores set up in the gun. He drops back. Looks. Wants to throw outside. The ball is tipped. Not a good decision here by the quarterback throwing into coverage. I'd surprise him with a run here. Maybe get the first down. Third down and what they didn't want to get in. Ball on the 28. Number six is back in the gun. Here comes the pressure. Throws off his back foot. He got it. He goes down. That's how you get a first down, coach. They took a risk and went for the long ball. And boy, did it pay off. Excellent play call. I throw it deep here. He may be able to gain a chunk of yards if the defense is not ready for it. South Florida has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Drops back to pass. Looking. Throws to the middle. Someone got a hand on it. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. the play action throws it to the outside it's deflected and that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected that's great defense right there brad that's something the coaches always remind their players to do get a hand up in the face of the quarterback you got to execute in this long yardage situation just take the snap and wing it in there the offense faces another third down as they line it up Vanderbilt comes out in the shotgun. High snap as he works from the gun. The ball is tipped. I tell you what, Kirk, if that receiver doesn't get more aggressive, this defense is going to be knocking the balls down all game long. You're absolutely right. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. Here comes the kicker. He'll try to put his team up by a field goal. He gets it up. And the wind got a hold of that one. No good. They'll take over at the 32. They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. With the throw. And it's caught. And he's tackled. They pick up nice yardage there on the pass. Gain of eight on the play. It's second down and two to go. Ball on the 40. Number 17 with three wide receivers. They go with a run. Ball is loose. Fumble. It's picked up by the defense. Brought down. 
And it looks like the big old lineman recovered that one. Yeah, that's a good awareness. He made a smart play to get on top of the football. Get the ball here at the 35 yard line. First and 10. Number nine, alone in the backfield. They'll throw on first down. Across the middle. And they make the stop. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. First and ten. They're inside the 20. The Commodores line up with three wide. They'll throw on first down. He unloads it, and he can't make the catch. When you can smell the end zone, you know you're right there. Now, smelling it and tasting it are two different things. You've got to be able to taste the end zone because it means six points. He drops back, throws it to the outside. Someone got a hand on it. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. What I like about this play is that as a quarterback, you have some options as to where you can go with the ball to get the first down. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 16. South Florida lines up with five defensive backs. Drops back to pass. He's looking. He's going left. The ball is tipped. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. Trying to take the lead by a field goal. Here comes the special teams unit. The kick is up. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. South Florida comes out with an eye formation. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And down he goes. Pick up a five. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Single set backfield. Setting up the play action. Throws to the middle. Got it. And he's taken down. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender. And he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. First and 10. Ball right around midfield. Number five is the single setback. They hand it off. Tackle. That's a seven-yard gain. Seven-yard gain on the play. A second down and three to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. South Florida takes a timeout. About two minutes before halftime, South Florida lines up with three receivers. Back to pass. Across the middle. And it falls incomplete. And the quarterback got hit, but was it late? First little foul. Roughing the passer. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. First and ten. Ball on the 26. 
South Florida lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back to pass. He steps up. Wants the middle. Almost intercepted. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. So it's second and ten. All on the 26-yard line. There's the play fake. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Third down and 12. Ball on the 28. Three wide outs here. He drops back. Oh, coming. And he's going to be sacked. They came after him hard there. Yeah, they sure did. And Lee, I think the quarterback felt that pressure coming from every direction. Kirk, as I've always said, the best way to keep the pressure down and to help the quarterback is to run screens and draws. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Plenty of hang time on this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. What should we expect to see out of this offense now? Uh, the last time they had the football, they had a great drive, but they just missed a field goal. I want to see if the defense has fixed the holes so they won't allow another big drive right here. They'll go to work at the 20. Ace backfield. They'll throw on first down. Looks. He's going to go for the home run. Got it. What do you think of that one, Mr. Corso? Well, I'm going to say that was a nice catch. He got a bunch of yards there, and that's going to spread this defense out a little. I just let the players go out there and have some fun here. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. South Florida put six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. Back to pass. Throws this one out to the right. They connect again. How about your assessment of that long play, Kirk? Well, Brad, not only a big pass play, but anytime you can stretch a defense on first or second down like this, you're going to open up your running game. you got to go out there and compete. Be a competitor. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Drops back to pass. Looking. Throws it deep downfield. Someone got a hand on it. That close to being intercepted. That might be the biggest drop of the game so far. Yeah, he did a heck of a job in coverage. He just didn't finish the play. And that's why I guess he's not a wide receiver. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 25. They line up in an eye. Been moved, and they got him for a loss. Everyone should know this one. Now go make it happen. Third and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Number six lines up with five wide out. And we've reached the end of the first half of play. Still no score. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. Number five, back to return. Short kickoff. Number five takes it at the 12. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. It's first and 10. Ball on the 23-yard line. South Florida comes out with an eye formation. They are going to pitch it. Halfback pass. 
Well, the players love to run these types of plays because it's out of the ordinary of what they usually do on offense. So when they finally call the play, you have to execute it because you don't get many chances to do it again. And I think they have the wrong guy throwing the football. But I guess that's why he's not the real quarterback. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. He's under pressure. Complete. They'll drop him for a loss. That'll be a two-yard loss. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on the 21. South Florida comes out in the shotgun. Throws this one out to the left. So they go three and out after that incompletion. And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. He gets it off. Number one fields it to 42. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Number nine, alone in the backfield. Brought down. Couple of yards there by the tailback on the counter. Gain of two on the play. As a coach, you love mismatches. In this case, if the slot guy's covered by the linebacker, you may have a nice play. The Commodores come out in a shotgun. Back to pass. He's looking. Across the middle. It falls incomplete. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. Third and eight. Ball on the 45-yard line. South Florida has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Wants to throw outside. Someone got a hand on it. Great defensive play by the cornerback. I do some motion here and try to confuse the defense. Fourth and eight. Ball on the 45-yard line. So they're set to punt this one away. Number 12. Number 19 boots it way up there. Number 12 calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 11-yard line. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 11. Going with the shotgun here. Drops back to pass. Steps up under pressure. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. There was just not enough people to block. And when there ain't enough, you're going to get nailed. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the four-yard line. I doubt they'll take any chances here. He drops back. Throws a lot pass out to the right. Brought down in the open field. He looks to be hurt down there. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on their own eight. South Florida goes with the ace set here. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Incomplete pass. A wideout unable to catch that pass. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Punts the ball away. Number one, fields it at the 50. He tries to spin. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. Excellent field position to start the drive. Number nine, the lone back. Hutton. 
Inside handoff. Got some open field. He's knocked out of bounds. He picked up big yardage on that run. Oh, this is great blocking up front. Nice job of holding on to their blocks, allowing him to break through for some big yards. First and 10, ball on the 28-yard line. Number nine is the single setback. They'll go with a run once again. Here's an opening. He steps up. A gain of nine yards on the play. Second and one coming up here. Ball on the 19. Vanderbilt comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. And they got him for a loss. That blitz couldn't have worked any better for the defense or any worse for the offense. This is a great time for a play-action pass. I get the defense to bite on a run and then I throw it over the heads. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 21. The Commodore line up in a goal line formation. And now he pitches it, and he's tackled. And they keep it on the ground and pick up the first. Good third down conversion right here. Not a real big play, but this gives them a new set of downs to work with. And I wouldn't be surprised if they don't go to the air here and really attack this defense. First and 10, ball on the 15. The Commodore go with the eye formation. Drops back to pass. He's going right. Tackle. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. The fullback needs a little love, too. I'd give him an opportunity to be a hero right here. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. A little handoff. Can't wrap it up. Touchdown, Commodore! So it's the big hoss on the score. And I think fullbacks deserve to get some of the spotlight. They're always out there working hard for everybody else. And like a glorified offensive line, they don't get any recognition. This one's simple. Kick the PAT. the PAT. So here's the Pontiac Drive summary to recap what just happened. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Number five takes it at the 16. Jed's a tackler. So the offense takes over and the last time they had the ball they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll get the ball here at the 33. First and 10. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Brought down. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, the defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. First it's first and 10. Ball, ball on the 43. Yard. They run a counter. They'll drop him for a loss. Good penetration by the defense there as they tackle him for a loss. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Number 17 is back in the gun, looks, he gives a pump fake, he passes it, and he can't make the catch. Number 83, the intended receiver on the play. Third 11 coming up here, ball on their own 42. South Florida comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. And now he's going to improvise. A little juke. And he's tackled. 
A big gain on that quarterback scramble. Boy, defensive breakdown here. Good defense. They had everybody covered, but they left the quarterback with a lot of running room. The key word is but. Good defense, but you got to keep your eye on that kid. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, Vanderbilt 7, South Florida nothing. First and 10, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. South Florida comes out in the shotgun. Play action. Long ball right side. The 10. Touchdown, South Florida. Well, I see a ref's hat down, and that usually means a receiver stepped out. So he stepped out and then was the first one to touch the ball. When you're running near the sideline like that and fighting for position, sometimes you lose sight of where you are and you step out of bounds in the process. Going with the shotgun here. He drops back. He's gobbled up in the backfield. What do we have, Lee? We have sack number four today. This defense came to play, and I love it. Offense faces another third down as they line it up. The Bull come out in the ace formation. Down the middle. He finds his receiver. And he's taken down. They'll get a good chunk of yards on that play, but they're still looking at fourth down. Maybe that will perk these guys up a bit and get them going on the next drive. Number five, alone in the backfield. Setting up the play action. Throws. And he shoved out of bounds. They stop him on fourth down. You talk about huge plays. This defense stood tall and shut him down. Well, they'll start this drive at the 38-yard line. Number six comes to the line with three wide. Let's it go. And it's caught with the spin. And he's tackled. A five-yard gain. Five-yard gain on the play. Everyone should know this one. Now go make it happen. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Number nine is the single setback. Spinning. And they make the stop. And they move the chains once again. And that's what they need. Move the chains and keep the other team from getting their hands on the football. As a coach, you love mismatches. In this case, if the slot guy's covered by the linebacker, you may have a nice play. First, First and 10. ten. Ball right around midfield. South Florida has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Looking, deep pass down the right side. That is ball, picked off. That interception puts them right back in the game. I wouldn't have made that throw, and let me tell you why. You got the lead in the fourth quarter. There's no need to take big risks right now. Play conservative. Let your defense shut them down. South Florida goes with the ace set here. They'll throw on first down, throws it to the outside, and it's incomplete, and that was out of reach for his tight end. The intended receiver on the play. It's second down and 10 to go, all on their own 31. They line up in the shotgun. Shakes off a tackle. Big opening. They'll bring him down. Number 17. 23-yard gain on the play. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Number 17 lines up in the shotgun. And they hit him in the backfield. Number 
Just an excellent job of the defense here to read the draw play. He had a quarterback thought he could spread him out and find a hole for himself to run through. <laughs> they were having none of that, my friend. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. The Bull line up in an I formation. Drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on the 48. The Bull set up in the gun. Back to pass. He throws it. Complete. Spins up field. Tackle. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. They have to try to convert here. Pitch is right. They don't get it. They went for it, but they were denied. Well, that was a situation where they had to go for it. I agree. They can't afford to let the other team hold on to the ball. The time is ticking away. They'll set up shot at the 43-yard line. Number nine, alone in the backfield. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. They'll drop him for a loss. South Florida calls a timeout. With the lead, you don't want to do anything stupid. Just run between the tackles and kill some time off that clock. Number nine is the deep back as they line up in the eye. They hand it off. He's hit and got away. Brought down. South Florida takes a timeout. In this situation, I keep it on the ground and get myself a fresh set of downs. It's third down and a yard for the first down. Ball right around midfield. He's knocked out of bounds. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. First and 10, ball on the 42. Here's the give. He spins, and down he goes. He picks up four yards on the carry. I'd give it to my fullback, and I'd have him pound the football up the middle. Second and six coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. Gives to the fullback, spin move, tackle. South Florida calls a timeout. Everyone should know this one. Now go make it happen. And here's our Red Zone players of the game. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Number six comes to the line with three wide. He drops back. Throws it to the outside. Got it to his receiver. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it. For first and ten. Nice play. Yo, don't do anything silly. You got this one in the bag if you just take one knee here. First and ten, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. Vanderbilt will kneel on it here as they count the seconds down. Kneel it here. Hey, I just down the ball right now and get out of here with a victory. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 22 yard line. No need to risk a fumble. A simple kneel down will do here. Henley markers down, they took too much time. 
Je to tohle je game. On je opět. They'll be called for an infraction. That will put them back a few paces. Man, the coaches are going to have to talk to these young guys about committing unnecessary fouls. Second and long. Ball on the 27-yard line. Drops back to pass. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. Hauls it in for the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. And that's the end of the game. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? I don't know about you guys, but I was pretty darn impressed with this bunch of kids. Vanderbilt faced a pretty good opponent in this one, but they just marched right through them. I'm telling you, these guys are for real. That concludes another game of NCAA Football 2005. Our final score, Vanderbilt 14, South Florida nothing. Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit signing off. So long, everybody.